The superheroes are among us and they are getting darker. What's going on Mixing Knife? I'm Nathan Mixon with MixonFitness.com and in this video I'm going to tell you about my top five black superheroes that I usually cosplay in. And um, I hope you guys like the video. If you do, make sure you hit that like button, turn on your push notifications if you haven't, if you haven't already done so, and also subscribe to the channel because that went backwards anyway. <laughs> Yeah, so literally, a lot of the mainstream superheroes are becoming a little bit more darker. Since a lot of the ethnic superheroes are still not recognized, I thought I'd just point out some of my favorite superheroes, and maybe you can list the one that I haven't mentioned down below in the description box. So my first superhero is Storm, Mistress of the Elements. She's one of the key figures that make up the X-Men's roster. Debuting in the mid-70s, Storm is actually one of the first black mutants to be uh, featured in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Holly Berry, oh so fine. She definitely nailed this role in all the X-Men franchise movies, and I hope she may even reprise a role maybe in the next Black Panther movie. Hint, hint. Next up is Blade. This vampire slayer is actually Marvel's first trilogy. Despite the critics' reviews, Rusty Snipes actually nailed this role with a with one of those, we call them stabbing things and they turn into flames. Anyway, he nailed the role with those crazy one-liners. Some motherfuckers are always trying to ice skate up here. <laughs> I actually use that line to this day. He also has some crazy martial arts and some great visual effects for his time. Blade is also the first R-rated movie to make it in the Marvel Cinematic Universe as well. So I don't know what they talking about this Deadpool thing being the first one, but... Anyway, Blade is probably the most emulated character in cosplay, so don't expect his Blade to get dull anytime soon. <laughs> that was so lame. My third pick is Spawn. In the 90s, he was one of the leading characters in a darker genre of comics. Created by Todd McFarlane, Spawn really quickly picked up the heat, you know, as for his originality and storyline and also his badassery. There's not too many superheroes that I know that can be betrayed by his friends, sent to hell, made a deal with the devil, come back to Earth, be of the people who betrayed him, and then turn on the devil. Crazy story, right? In the late 1990s, Michael J. White was one of the first black mainstream superheroes to star in a motion picture, which featured incredible graphics, but the storyline and the plot just didn't mesh well. So hopefully they repraise his role and maybe give it a good reboot. Number four will be Black Lightning. Now he may be new to some people, but 40 years ago he was actually introduced into the DCU. This metahuman is actually capable of conducting electricity to ward off injustice. The CW, who are awesome at creating TV shows, have actually created a TV show called Black Lightning. An actual spinoff was created starring his two daughters, Thunder and Lightning, which can probably prove this family to be a force to be reckoned with. Now my number five pick, you already know what it is, it's the Black Panther. For a future spoiler alert, we already know that Fox is now combined with the MCU, so Storm might be in the next movie because, you know, Storm ends up being his wife. I said spoiler alert. The King of Wakanda, or Black Panther, is one of the first black superheroes to actually diversify the Marvel Universe. The Black Panther was actually created in the 1960s, well before the Black Panther Party by uh, Jack Kirby and also Stan Lee. To separate the comic character from the organization, they do try to change the name of the character, but it just didn't stick with the fans. It was too late. I mean, Black Panther is really kind of a smooth name. I can't think of the actual name they changed it to. Maybe you can list it down in the description below. Fortunately for fans, a Black Panther risen in his ranks as one of the most notable characters in the MCU. So that's my top five superheroes. Now list yours down below. I want to know what superheroes you follow down there. And also, if you haven't done so, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and turn on your push notifications so that we can catch my next video as soon as it releases. We are 40,000 subscribers strong right now, and I can't thank you guys enough for following the channel. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I catch you in the next one. Peace.